Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to another exciting episode of Channel X. Originally we were supposed to do this yesterday, but we ran into some snow issues, so... Thank God it's Friday! <clears throat> and I am your host, TomDog247. As always, I'm TomDog all day and TomDog all night! Woo! Alright. So, yes, you are look uh not seeing things um the theme on here we're playing Grand Theft Auto 4 so um this this just got released on uh on the Xbox One backwards compatibility and so if you had this on your 360 you can you can now play this on your Xbox One. So that's pretty cool. Everything so we're gonna be having a lot of fun with that. And um But that's not all we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be um celebrating Valentine's Day and and to this, I am having a uh, cherry Pepsi, but it's in a can cozy, BB-8 can cozy that my lovely girlfriend got me for Valentine's Day, as well as I don't know if you see it on the on the camera, but um, a stuffed raccoon and everything. So. And for delight, would be me burping. <laughs> so, um, but no, I'm having cherry pop tarts because they're so good. <laughs> um, so we're going to have a lot of fun here today. <clears throat> um You know, it's been a, it's been a long time since I played Grand Theft Auto 4. A real long time. And I'm really glad for Rockstar to finally put this up because it's long overdue. And everything so um so we're gonna have a lot of fun here today <clears throat> everything so oops um so yeah and the thing about this I can leave I can leave my controller here and everything like that and I could just go ahead and do the show without without this going to idle and then having to go to, to another page or something like that. What's in the game? Oh. Um. I want to get the uh, shout outs out real quick. Uh, first off, big shout outs to, as always, um. Gaming, gaming pros and otherwise, on my uh, on Facebook. Check it out. A lot of good fun. <coughs> Great times as all, uh, for all, everything, and uh, be sure to tell them that Tom Dog sent you. Um. Also. Also to, um. Big shout out to my good friend Jen and everybody at Bristol Beat and the Bristol Beat app. Download it today on your smartphone, on your Apple or Android smartphone device right there. Uh, check it out. It's, a, it's an awesome, awesome app. You know, if you're snowed in here in the East Coast like I am. Definitely want to check that out. 
definitely want to check that out. And um, you'll have a good time listening to some good music. You know, warm things up if you're trying to, you know, keep warm and dance around, have a little party with your friends. If they can make it, of course. So, um, so that's bristolbeat.com. You can also listen to it live on, on there. And you'll have a great time, I swear. Um, and then, of course, the the best shout out of all time goes out to my lovely girlfriend who who I just uh, mentioned about the uh, the lovely gifts that she sent me um very wonderful um she also got she also knows that I'm a huge Darth Vader fan so she got me this uh this Darth Vader tin so that's pretty cool um has some chocolates in there so maybe I'll I'll open up one and see what happened <laughs> and uh but got me a B, BB-8 can koozie and uh and also the uh the ra- the raccoon that I mentioned and from the bottom of my heart I love her so much we're actually on our 2 month anniversary as of tomorrow so <clears throat> and and then on Valentine's Day we're going to be spending a lot more Together, I'm going to be cooking her up a, a magnificent feast, and she's going to absolutely love it and everything like that. So I know she's probably blushing right now because she is watching and on all surprise, and it's like, but she doesn't know what I'm going to make her. So, so we don't know that. So happy. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. I'm really looking forward to spending Valentine's Day with you. I'm really looking forward to it. And, yes, she is watching me right now and uh, doing inappropriate things that I can't see because she's not here with me this week. So, (laughs) Um, last week, last week, we... um, we actually did an uh, did our did the show on the Saturday, because um, I was run uh, run into some technical issues. I I do want to get that out of the way, especially uh, yesterday, which I will talk about um, before we get to the cheap plugs, and everything like that, um, the the hair plugs which I need. No, nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no, she um, so yeah, she was over here and everything like that. So she was rooting me on. So she was watching me on the TV. She was watching me uh, live too and everything like that. So she was getting two of me for for the price of fun, so to speak. Cheap joke, but I can see that she's laughing right now. But but yeah, it, it, I always have a good time when she. I always have a, a better time when she's here because of the fact that it makes my shows more entertaining. Especially when, when she's there because, you know, she can watch me act a fool, <laughs> so to speak. But she, I, but I know that she's watching me right now, so I'm behaving myself. You hear that? I'm behaving myself, <laughs> my baby. Because you're not here. Because then that's when I get into tomfoolery. I don't know what it is. I, I got to, you know, once I get this new... Uh, check to come in so I can get new equipment so I can stop banging the, uh, the microphone. I know that annoys the crap out of everybody, but I definitely want to, um, definitely want to do, uh, something with this and everything like that. And, uh, that will happen when I get, when I get the, um, uh, my tax return. So I'm going to have a whole new equipment and everything like that. So, be on the lookout. There's going to be some drastic changes to my lineup of 
production. Um, making a mess over here. Okay, nothing, nothing sticky on the mic. Mic's not sticky. <laughs> so, all right, cheap plugs. Uh, but yeah, before I get to that, I was talking about. Uh, what was going on with um, last week and and yesterday? Well, last week my my Xbox was updating, so I couldn't I couldn't do anything with that. So I was so I couldn't do the show. So I had to wait until that was. Um, but I didn't know it was updating. I was um, I thought there was like a technical issue with uh, with Comcast, and uh, so. I was like doing everything, and I was like, "Shit, I want to do something." You know, I'm trying to do a show here every Thursday night. So, um, uh, and then yesterday, um, I'm in the East Coast, so we had this nasty blizzard yesterday, and we got more snow coming in just uh just a short while. So I'm gonna be snowed in again for the weekend, and. So my girl's missing me there because I was supposed to spend the weekend with her and Mother Nature said, No, you're staying you're staying home and she's gonna have to live with that. And I was like, No. <laughs> I was like, don't be a bitch. <laughs> Otherwise I don't go green. <laughs> You'll see me get red. So that's what happened. That's what I'm doing it here tonight. Everything. Um, I had some strong winds yesterday too. Um, after this blizzard, and uh, so that's that's what happened and everything like that. So I was like, shit. Um. Okay. Time now for the plugs. You know the drill. Lootcrate.com. Subscribe today. Um. Got till next Wednesday to get this month's box, which is build. Uh, I was gonna have some Lego stuff and some and some other things. Uh, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing once I get that box, which will probably be uh, sometime in, like in around two weeks time or something like that. Um, I don't know. But I will be doing an unboxing once I get that. I'm really looking forward to this box. It's going to be amazing. And uh, and if you have not yet subscribed to to Loot Crate, you're missing out on some awesome, awesome stuff. Every month is a new theme, and it's 20 bucks. Can't go wrong with that. LootCrate.com. Check it out. I'm still working on some promo codes and everything like that, and I just got to work out something with my webpage. BrillPro.com. I still have to update it. As a matter of fact, I'll um, probably do that this weekend. Well, I'm going to be snowed in and everything because I gotta I gotta update the basketball section and uh, <coughs> choking. And I just got over a cold too. So, oh my God, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, I had strep throat and it was horrible and everything um we also have marvel collector core it's a very it's a bi-monthly uh issue they're they're just about almost finished with uh this uh this theme which is i believe it's um heroes versus villains or something like that it's um it's like um Heroes and Villains beat down, super beat down, or something like that. I don't know. It um, so it's really it's really cool. So you got a hero and a villain. Uh, it's gonna look pretty awesome and everything like that. Um, so be sure to subscribe. It's at the guys over at Funko. Um, also, um, while you're on while you're on Funko's page, <coughs> excuse me, check out the Star Wars Muggler's Bounty. I missed this. Uh. The last one, which I really wanted, which was the uh, Empire Strikes Back, because <laughs> um, it had that nice uh, Han Solo with the Tauntaun. Oh, that was a that was a beautiful box, very beautiful box. Um, 
But this uh, this theme coming up for March is going to be Rebels, and they already showed off the uh, the Darth Maul pop vinyl. It looks amazing. It really looks amazing. They they give out a spoiler on that, and um, but it really does look look amazing. Amazing. So go to Funko and also check out DC Collector Core. I don't know when that one comes out, but um, give that give that a look see too. It's like you you'll be glad that you did. All right. So we got the, we got those out of the way. Oh yeah, and my webpage too. BrillPro.com um, has the uh, results of the Super Bowl, big game if you want to call it, and. Uh, we had the Royal Rumble. That's going to be uh, staying up there for uh, until Sunday because this Sunday is going to be uh, the Elimination Chamber. So I'm going to get that all, all settled in. That's going to be a uh, very good pay-per-view. Uh, and then they're going to take a break and get ready for you know to get ready for WrestleMania. So, um, so I'll probably keep keep all that up until WrestleMania everything so we'll see what happens <laughs> and uh um and speaking of wrestlemania wrestlemania weekend of course it will be the uh the wwe hall of fame um they just made an announcement um this pa uh at the beginning of the week that the rock and roll express uh which which was uh surprising but a very huge update uh announcement that the rock and roll Express from the NWA is going to the WWE Hall of Fame, and, and they're very, they are an amazing tag team, and um, I'm actually glad that they're actually going, that they're going in there, and it's well deserved, and because of that, I'm going to induct the Rock and Roll Express into the Channel X Hall of Fame along with Kurt Angle. So congratulations are in order to to the Rock and Roll Express, and um, looking forward looking forward to seeing their um, their speech and stories on uh, on WrestleMania weekend. So that's going to be really really cool. Um, uh What else? There was something else too. Um, um, there was there was something else I had to. Oh yeah, the Super Bowl. Um, I have to admit. Um, I'm gonna do a quick, quick rundown. You can actually check the entire review on BrillPro. Uh, dot com right now. As a matter of fact, about my thoughts about uh, last weekend Super Bowl, um, I'm going to be fair and honest. I absolutely enjoyed this year's Super Bowl. Um, it went to it went to over uh, into overtime, and first time that's ever happened. And it was a very, very good game. And my hat definitely goes off to the Patriots. They did an outstanding. They they did an outstanding job. And you know, not only that, you know, the Falcons did a very good job too. Um, you know, I was actually, you know, I, you know, in all fairness, I was rooting for the Falcons because you know what, they never won. They never won one. I wanted to see them win, and it. You know, I really wanted to see that happen, and um, it was sad that sad that it, that we didn't get a chance to see that. And uh, it 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 came close at the first half. I was like, Tom Brady was getting frustrated, as you could tell, and everything like that. And uh, whenever whenever all those uh, exciting plays were happening in the uh, first half, my girlfriend was getting pissed and saying, "Oh, really?" <laughs> I was this I was this close to sleeping on the couch. <laughs> I really was, and um, but but I gotta give I gotta give credit where credit is due. And you know I I I know I did the the Channel X top five last week, um, 
about what was going on. And I, I, I think I was pretty hard on, on Tom Brady and, and the, and the Patriots and everything like that. And, you know, you know, it was all, you know, it's all in good fun and everything like that. And I know we had the deflate gate with, um, because of Tom Brady and everything like that. And a lot of it is still upset in everyone's minds and whatnot. And, you know, but, you know, I look at it now as nothing real, really we can do about it. You know, you know, shit happens. We all wiped and we moved on. Um, but I think coming, coming from that, coming from the flake gate, I think, um, seeing the performance that we saw on the Super Bowl was amazing. And I got to give credit where credit is due. And I do this every Super, um, whoever wins and everything like that. I never really did this, um, to the Patriots because there were times where they won and I, you know, I'd do my show and, you know, give them my shouts and everything like that. But, um, but I really do got to give credit where credit is due and, and I hope all you Patriots fans out there are watching and tuning in because Tom Brady I made my decision and I'm sticking with it. Tom Brady is is going in to the Channel X Hall of Fame. And and I'm going to be I'm going to be a lot easier, you know, I'm going to be a lot um uh gentle with him uh and everything like that, you know. If so, if something happens where I mean, I you know, I don't mind I don't mind joking and everything like that, you know, joking about Tom Brady and and whatnot. Um, especially when I targeted him a lot during this whole, uh, deflate gate with the, you know, with some, cha- even with the channel X top fives, you know, you know, there, it's all in good, you know, in, in true, not, you know, I have a lot of respect for the guy and, you know, in all seriousness, I really do have a lot of respect for the guy and everything like that. You know, he's a damn good quarterback and, um, so my hat does go off to Tom Brady and the Patriots. So, um. Congratulations are in order to for the Patriots for winning the Super Bowl. And Tom Brady, congratulations to you for being inducted into my Channel X Hall of Fame. So congratulations again are in order. Um you deserved it. You really did deserve it. You really impressed me. And uh so so congratulations once again. Um so I hope every every Patriots fan are watching watching right now and everything like that because we are going to be uh because that is well deserved and everything like that um <coughs> so yeah um for those who are watching this right now i am playing grand theft auto 4 um not grand theft auto 5 because i kept this idle for a while and and everything like that so you can probably tell from the uh from the little radar sh- screen over there. Um, so, um, so a new catch catchphrase has been coming on for 2017, and it's, um, um, that Dr. Phil episode with the um with that chick that was like, "Cash me outside, how about that?" Um. She's getting a lot of uh, credit, you know. She's getting a lot of um, talk lately. And on her first visit, when she said that, "Hi, how you doing there, Eugene?" Uh, um, no, wait, not Eugene. Uh, you, you know, you, Eugene. Uh, anyways, hi. <laughs> um, I'm having a hard time pronouncing your uh your your screen name and everything like that. But, um, anywho, um, so she's getting a lot of, uh, and I guess there's like a music video out somewhere and everything like that. Internet, um, an internet 
wildfire going on there. It's the same. <laughs> okay. All right. No problem. And um, and so she's going. She's going all out and everything like that. And uh, I guess earlier today, because I'm taping this on the Friday, um, she was she was on, but I didn't see what I didn't see the episode and everything like that. But but she's going all over the place, and you know she's and it's becoming a huge it's becoming a huge deal. And everything then uh it's like I, I guess she's getting like uh, there's like a music video uh we're going around where it's like you know cash me as i have about that and it's becoming a uh a mixtape almost so um so i have the thinking i guess the chick's name is danielle or i could be wrong um I don't pay attention to stuff like that, and but she was on Doctor Phil, and she was like, she got got off on a on the audience. It was like, catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> and yes, it's becoming annoying. <laughs> it was good for like five. Minutes. And I was like, really? <laughs> so anywho, well, because of that little little uh little phrase that she said. Uh, there's been like memes and all this all this stuff as I said and I got to thinking because of this uh, 15 minutes of of uh, fame which is now becoming mainstream now I guess uh, it's becoming a music video what else could this um, cash me outside chick also could also do? And I came up with five of them. <laughs> and this is going to be brutal, especially a lot of people who, who see uh, who see her and it's like, you know, that, that could like her, you know, could get offended. But, you know, I, I'm always going to be offensive no matter what. So here it is, the top five things that the uh, Cash Me Outside chick could also be doing. Number five, did an unre unreleased sex tape with Dustin Diamond. Now, I picked Dustin Diamond out of random because it was either between Dustin Diamond or Ray J, but I was going with funny instead of like it could possibly happen, so Dustin Diamond sounded a lot funnier. Because he can always be like, I'm going to see if I can make you screech. <laughs> and you just can't do that, Ray J. You just can't. Number four. She gets her ass kicked in. Uh, gets her ass kicked in boot camp after telling her commanding officer to cash me outside. How about that? <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Number three. Five minutes working at McDonald's after telling a customer to cash me outside. How about that? Number two, a guest spot on the Maury show because she doesn't know who the baby daddy is. <laughs> and the number one thing that she could also be doing now, now that she, um, that the cash me outside chick be, uh, cashing in all on this, uh, fame and everything. The number one thing that she could be doing right now is an Ashley Madison account. An AshleyMadison.com account. I 
So there it is. There's your top five. Top five. I'm already offensive with the top five. So yeah, this is going to be a laid back episode. Um, because of the fact that, um, um, primarily because of the fact that it's uh, Valentine's Day and, and you know, that, believe it or not, this is actually my first time celebrating Valentine's Day, like officially. And I'm glad, I'm glad that, um, my my beautiful lady is going to be uh, doing this so um so yeah i'm dedicating this show to her <laughs> i am because you know she's i'm like so in love with her and everything like that and she is absolutely beautiful and i'm really looking forward Really looking forward to um, spend spending my time with her and whatnot. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be really cool. Okay. So I destroyed that car for nothing. There we go. Okay, I gotta find another car now. But, but yeah, she she really does make me happy, and I'm so glad to be a part of her life as she is to be a part of mine. And I really am looking forward to our first Valentine's Day together, <coughs> rightfully so. Really looking forward to that. So. so yeah, we already exchanged our gifts because we weren't we weren't sure what we were going to do and everything like that. So um like if we if we were actually going to celebrate. Uh, Valentine's Day and everything like that, because we, you know, with me having work and me having work and plans and everything like that, so it's kind of difficult. Oh shit! Holy shit! <laughs> And I stuck the landing.
I gotta get down. I gotta get down off the highway. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, she is so amazing. And Um, so yeah, this is going to be a layback show and everything like that. And, because nothing, nothing really happened in the news, anything like that, other than the fact that Donald Trump just can't really get his own way. <laughs> and he's, he's trying to fight it, but it's funny as hell because... He's learning the hard way, I guess. I love you so much too, baby. My baby messes me already. Okay, where where is it now? I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I did. Go for the Sultan RS. Yeah, it doesn't really say what car the it doesn't really say what car this is though. Because uh, it's, sometimes it's really difficult in fr uh, on free mode. <clears throat> on here primarily. Now, this is the this is the one thing this is the one thing I miss. Um on, you know, from GTA, you know, on GTA 5, that they, you know, they should have, they should have did the, uh, you know, kept that, um, that metal gate glitch that I saw, um, that they had. Oh, I <laughs> stuck the landing. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a damn good one. I'm looking at the replay on the on the video right now. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that went flying. <laughs> That's some pretty good, damn good air. I was supposed to have the um. Now pedestrians were supposed to be out and about, but. I guess not. Yeah, that really was a good one. That really was. Um, it's amazing how this car is still drivable.
Oh, wait a minute. I have an idea. There's a nearby police station. Over here. Let's see if there's a cop car. I definitely want to do that. Yep, there we go. There we go. There's like three of them. And you know what? I'm going to put the siren on, too. Let's really see something happen with this. Yeah, I'm going to be doing some Tom Dog plays on here. Um... When I get a chance. I haven't had a chance to do any Tom Dog plays. Maybe I'll do it uh, this weekend. Okay. Let's get, let's get into position here. Okay. What you gotta do? Just chill. It's like, um, you just basically run up to the um, to that middle pole, that middle swing pole, and uh, just like back into it, and you launch. Um, depending on how you have your camera, you'll um, just drive really slow. <laughs> I want I want to launch this thing. I gotta get out of there because I think if I'm not mistaken. I can't use it anyways. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot about that. <clears throat> I was actually looking for a cheetah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I actually have that in my GTA 5 garage. Um,.
Um, I couldn't find one on here. I know there there is a Sultan some uh somewhere. I forgot where. I think it's on the other side of the map. Yeah, but it <clears throat> I wish it would show the description of the vehicle on here while you're online. This was like the best thing I loved doing in Grand Theft Auto 4. Just that. It's like Rockstar really need to I like how the blow the, the blow off valve sounds. Oh yeah. Oh when they explode and everything. See what happens. Okay, that vehicle is destroyed. The top of the map. The top of the map on the left. Yeah. Yeah, like right over here somewhere. But I'm not going all the way over there just to just to get that vehicle and then come all the way back. It's gonna be it's gonna be take forever. Um I wonder, hold on a second. You know, I've always wanted to do this. Let's see if it works. Like, let's see if it launches me. Okay, that answers my question. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. Looky, looky, I got bazooki. <laughs> that was so cheesy. That was by far one of the most corniest things I've ever said. There we go. Okay. No car in here. Ooh. See how this does.
Let's see what happens. Really want to send this car. I want to send these cars flying. So let's see what happens here. Really? <laughs> that was horrible. That was... That was... That was utterly lame. There we go. Wee! I made it to the other side of the park. <laughs> nice. Hey, let's go. Let's see if I can go inside here. Oh, I can. Let's see if I can access a computer. Hey there. Howdy, oh, guess not. Okay. I think I'll launch one more car. Uh-oh. You know what? Look what we got here. A Sanchez. Alright. I guess we have no choice now. <laughs> Yes, we have no choice. We have to use the Sanchez. <laughs> this could... end really badly. Okay. This could end really badly. Like so. Okay, so much for using the Sanchez. <laughs> I'm not using that again. As far as I still survived that. <laughs> definitely got ragged on my bike. Let's see. Might as well use this one. Oh, I think this is the Sultan. Oh, it's a Vin Vincent. Oh, okay.
Okay, this will be make or break time. Okay. Oops. Whee! Oh my god, look at this. Look at what I did to the car. Oh my god. I completely demolished the car. I love the mechanics of the of the of the swing set glitch. I really do. Oh, wait a minute. That's the buffalo. Screw that. Oh, it's a pimp C, uh, six, it's the pimp 600. I thought it was the buffalo. They look kind of similar. Mohegan Avenue. Okay. This is going to be the last one for sure. Then I got to call night. Okay. Here we go. Moment of truth. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> God, look at the replay, folks. I am looking at the replay. Holy shit! Oh, <laughs> my God, went right through the gate. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm gonna have so much fun with this. I am, I'm definitely gonna be doing some, uh, That that was the that was the, that was the best one by far. That was the best one. So, and on that note, I'm going to uh, actually. What time is it here? Okay, yeah. Um, I'm gonna call it a night. Um, I hope you couples out there have a happy, safe Valentine's Day out there. Um, it's more about your loved one than it is for you and everything like that. So, um, spoil, spoil your lady rotten. Cause I, I already did that and I'm going to be doing, uh, doing some more stuff, cooking for her and everything like that. So, um, so I'm going to be doing it all. So and I'm looking forward to it cause it's our first Valentine's day, uh, Together and everything like that, but for me, official, you know, this is my first official Valentine's Day that I'm going to be celebrating. So I'm really looking forward to that. So, um, on that note, we will see you all again here next week. Not sure what we're going to be talking about, but I'm sure it's going to be great. 
and I'm really going to be looking forward to it. And um, also follow me on on Twitter. Um, at TomDog247, and also uh, check out BrillPro.com for all the updates for your basketball needs. I have to update it. I know. Um, I have to do some. I have to do some stuff because there were some. Um, there were some mess ups and everything like that. So I was a little bit upset. So, um, so I have to do it all from scratch. Um. So be sure to check that out. Um, <coughs> and then also while you're at it, if you miss any any part of today's up ep- um today's episode here on uh, Twitch, you can check the the encore when it's uh, saved later on, or wait until it's officially uploaded onto my YouTube channel, Tom Arcade sixty nine, um, the Brill Pro channel, and uh, while you're at it. Give a like, comment, and face hug that subscribe button. And you'll be glad you did. And we'll see you all again here next week. Same Tom Dog time, same Tom Dog channel. Um, every Thursday here on Twitch, unless, of course, something that were to happen, which it did, uh, with the weather and everything like that. So it's every Thursday, unless something comes up, and then I have to do it on a Friday or a Saturday. Um depending on what day I do it. So check that out. So we'll see you all here again next Thursday. And uh, until then, this is Tom Dog saying take care. So long. Peace.